Hello and welcome to the next video of my World's 2022 Preview Series. We're going to cover GAM Esports from Vietnam. In the description, you're going to find three links. One to the Discord, Twitter, and YouTube memberships. Uh, Twitter, self-explanatory, follow me there. Discord, come join us. We talk about League pretty much all the time. Today, we got a little off topic talking about various things but uh mostly league especially when league's going on tomorrow there's going to be a watch party so if you join the um t uh, discord go to the rules page which you're supposed to do anyways when you join the discord um and then hit the microphone then you'll be notified when the watch party begins protex said he was going to do one um just on just on the discord now so um he's a mod so well they are a mod so they can handle it um and that's a thing. One over the Twitter. YouTube memberships, $3 and $10. $3 to keep me afloat. You get a little badge in the comments. $10, you keep me afloat, but you also get extra content. Um, I do weekly fantasy football rankings. I put out that video yesterday. I said I was going to figure out if you could get it, and I did not. So I still am not sure if you're going to get it or not. If you get older content, um, I know you will get future content, which includes my um, predictions. For tomorrow's games, if you're watching this after um, September 9th, then, um, well, the same thing applies. I don't know if you get older content or not. Um, who really wants my predictions after the fact anyways? But that's what I do. I give my predictions um, at the $10 tier with extra videos um, and then NFL content, like I said. So if you like that sort of stuff, become a member. Um, I think there's about 10 members right now or 8 members, which is pretty cool. GAM Esports Vietnam. Um, so this is the first time Vietnam is going to be at World since COVID. So 2019 was the last time they went. Their coach is Jackie Wind. Jackie Wind has no international coaching experience when it comes to Worlds or MSI. Worlds 2019, GAM Esports. I think they were Gigabyte uh, Marines at the times. Um, I think they're still Gigabyte Marines Esports or whatever. But uh, they finished last in their group, the one seed from Vietnam. So that is a thing. Um, a couple of these players were on that team. Um, this team in Vietnam plays a different brand of League of Legends. The brand of League of Legends in which they play is very aggressive. There is a lot of differences in compositions. They are willing to branch out. And we saw that at MSI with Saigon Buffalo, Callista Mid, for example, um, being a pick of note. So um, you have to be prepared for this. Uh, Kaya in top lane. He had a 4.2 KDA, 8.1 CS per minute, 58, 9 KP. Very solid numbers, above 8 CS per minute. We have not been seeing that a lot. Yesterday, Kingen was below 8 at the LCK level. Yes, LCK is tougher than the BCS. I'm not going to deny that. But um, the fact of the matter is, these are very good stats. Um, one of the best top laners in Vietnam. 21.3 um, damage share, 468 damage per minute. Um, ahead at 15 minutes on average, four solo kills, five champions in 15 games. Um, yesterday, somebody had suggested to me that I um, was wasting my time doing these videos and wasting your time because um, 20 minutes of content that you could look up yourself is what I'm giving you. Well, I'll tell you what. Um, Levi specifically, when we get to him, you wouldn't be able to find his cumulative world stats. To my knowledge, I would have to you know, you'd have to do the math. So, um, somebody, I don't know, somebody just said, uh, you know, they clicked on a video. I mean, they're disappointed, whatever. Uh, so Kaya was a mid laner when Gam went to Worlds last time in 2019. Um, they would go one and five, 1.47 KDA, 851 CS per minute, 61.8 KP. So I don't know if he's a top laner that had roll swap to mid for the tournament. Or if he was a, a mid laner, that is now a top laner. But clearly that shift has occurred over the last two and a half years. And he's been solid doing it. So um, a roll swap player, that's interesting. Um, jungle, we have Levi. Levi has been um, in North America um, before. He played for 100 Thieves Academy and then went back to Vietnam. But um, in the VCS this past year, 4.3 KDA, 5.3 CS per minute. 72 1 kp in the playoffs so these are good numbers we have over 70 um kp and over 5.25 cs per minute i have lowered my number from 5.5 to 5.25 due to the meta and the way that it is kind of going the expectations out of a jungler are not necessarily farm related as much as it is objective control and getting things done 
13.6 damage here, which is, you know, slightly higher than we're used to. We're seeing a lot of 12s, maybe some high 11s thus far. 310 damage per minute, mixed at 15 minutes. That means he is not ahead in gold, XP, and CS. One or two of those he is behind in on average. No solo kills, six champions at 15 games. I believe he played um, Nocturne four times, which is interesting. We haven't seen a lot of Nocturne. Um, once in a while, people are playing it. Um, but four times out of 15 games is a high amount. Kind of gives you the vibe for what this team has to offer. Um, Levi went to MSI in 2017, finishing sixth place. Um, Worlds 2017, they would uh, finish third in their group. And Worlds 2019, last in their group. He is 16 and 22 at international events. 263 KDA, 534 CS per minute, 67.4 KP. More than solid, definitely maybe. Well, definitely maybe. Those are opposites right um he is certainly possibly that's the same thing just, he is possibly the best player in vietnam um he's a little older though now getting up there um mid-20s but still very very good in mid lane you have katie katie 5.1 kda 8.8 cs per minute 71 6 kp those are very good laning numbers for a guy that gets around um, 71 6 KP is higher than what we've been seeing. We've been seeing a lot of mid 60s out of players in s similar CS per minute, but 8.8 .8 is very good. 5.1 KDA, more than solid. 27.4 damage share, 611 damage per minute. So he gets damage, he deals it. Mixed at 15 minutes, one solo kill, six champions in 15 games. This includes two Morgana games. Morgana mid was something they used a couple times, which is something we should know right that is not common we don't see that anymore that isn't a thing but in vietnam it is so we have this is just like the um the 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 nocturne in the jungle things that we have to note right things we have to make note of going into this international event uh bot lane uh no international experience out of kd um style 5.1 kda 96 cs per minute 76 2 kp so it gets involved in fights um, good laner, solid player, 29.8 damage share, 674 damage per minute. Um, so the damage share on this team is very interesting. We do not see an over 30%, um, a very close distribution between mid and bot. Um, so it's really hard to key on one player as the threat. Um, two solo kills, five champions at 15 games, no experience internationally. And then we have Bay or Bayi in um support seven kda which is actually very interesting he does not die a lot um 78 kp two cleared wards every five minutes one dropped ward every two minutes and eight champions in 15 games including a shen and an ash so we have a lot of different champions being used by him filling out the lineup filling out this uh team composition something to definitely make note of when um this this event starts i think that this team has potential to throw some people off in best of ones with team compositions we saw saigon buffalo throw some teams off at msi and nearly win and we have to remember that saigon buffalo were the two seed at that event from vietnam gam esports had went to the southeast asia games and just dominated and ran over everybody in that instead so um this is hypothetically better than Saigon Buffalo. They 3-0'd them in the finals. Keep in mind, Saigon Buffalo had knocked Ga Gam down to the uh, loser final before that. So they had traded, um, you know, best of fives. Saigon's was 3-2 and Gam's was 3-0. But still, they had traded best of fives. So there is potential there for um, Gam to lose, obviously. But this is a team you have to respect. And you have to really prepare for and have a plan. You have to have a plan if they pull out a Morgana mid. Yeah, maybe it might not be too impactful, but what is around it? What is going to facilitate this champion to be viable that other major regions are unable to do? Um, it's just a real thing to think about with this team specifically. You got to respect it. You really do. Um, but if you're a fan of the VCS, comment down below with your opinions on how you think Gam's going to do. Uh, like the video, if you like it, subscribe to the channel for daily League of Legends content. Hit the, tw 
Well, uh, hit the links. Go to Twitter. Um, follow me there. Go to Discord if you'd like to join us. Um, go to the YouTube memberships if you want me to continue doing this. Um, what else? Oh, later today, predictions roundup 1217 video. Stay tuned for all of that. So if you subscribe, hit the notification bell, you'll know when that comes out. And thank you for watching.